Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 756 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. This morning Russia conducted a missile strike against Ukraine. At least some of the missiles targeted Kyiv. According to the local authorities, debris from downed missiles hit kindergarten, apartment building and caused fire at the parking spot. At least 10 people are wounded. In his evening video address, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky informed that yesterday Russia conducted a missile strike against the city of Kharkiv in the northeastern part of Ukraine. He said that in the result of the attack, five people were killed. Local authorities informed that another nine were wounded, five more missing, reports Espresso. According to the police bomb disposal experts, the attack was carried out with an H-35 anti-ship missile, which hit one of the local enterprises, reports Suspilne. The president expressed his condolences to all the families and friends of victims. Quote, Today was another Russian strike on Kharkiv, which will have no effect on anything, except that Ukraine will respond in an even more principled and precise manner, said the head of state. Zelensky called on Ukraine's partners to provide more air defense systems to protect regions that border Russia. Prime Minister of Ukraine Denis Shmigal said that there is currently no need to mobilize 500,000 people into the ranks of the armed forces of Ukraine, reports NV. According to him, the assessment showed that this scale of mobilization is not necessary given the rotations that are taking place on the front line and the arrival of weapons. Quote, we will continue the fight if we receive support from our partners regarding artillery shells, long-range and medium-range missiles, unquote, said Shmihal. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family, as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the podcast and truth about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. According to the Washington Post, this year Ukraine will spend about 5 billion US dollars on domestic arms production, reports Ukrainform. Production tripled in 2023 and is expected to increase sixfold this year, the outlet said, citing Prime Minister Denis Shmigal. According to the Minister of Digital Transformation Mikhailo Fedorov, Ukraine already produces 90% of its need for drones that have changed the methods of warfare. Among them are long-range unmanned aerial vehicles and marine drones. Ukraine also produces its own mortar and artillery shells of the Soviet caliber 122 and 152 mm. At the same time, defense companies will produce their own 155 mm shells of the NATO standard for artillery systems supplied by Western allies from the second half of this year. Alexander Komishin, the Minister of Strategic Industries, said in February that Ukraine has started production of a missile with a range of about 650 kilometers. According to officials, air defense systems and high-precision missiles similar to the American HIMARS are also being developed. At the same time, the publication notes that this is not enough to compensate for the lack of international support, especially the arrival of weapons from the United States. Mikhailo Fedorov, in an interview with The Guardian, said that with additional financial support from Western governments, Ukraine can produce 2 million drones per year, which is twice as much as the current production rate, reports Ekonomichna Pravda. According to Fedorov, the government contracts much less than the manufacturers are able to produce because Ukraine does not have enough funds. The Netherlands plan to allocate more than 150 million euros to purchase ammunition and 200 million for drones for Ukraine, reports European Pravda. The country plans to provide air-to-ground weapons for F-16 fighter jets that will be sent to Ukraine. These munitions are purchased directly from the producer. The Netherlands are also sending previously promised F-16 fighter jets to Romania. The Netherlands, Denmark and the United States led the fighter jet coalition for Ukraine. 18 Dutch F-16 aircraft have been provided to Romania for the exercise. Another 24 are intended for delivery to Ukraine. The Netherlands are also contributing more than 200 million euros to purchase many intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance drones and transfer them to Ukraine. This is done after consultations with other partners and the Ukrainian armed forces. Meanwhile, Lithuania announced plans to contribute 35 million euros to the purchase of artillery shells for Ukraine as part of the Czech initiative. 
The Spanish government is preparing for transfer of 19 Leopard 2A4 battle tanks to Ukraine. The main battle tanks will be delivered in two batches, 10 by the end of June and another 9 in September. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, when a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.